all the proceeds from the sale of our Helping Hands Handmade Soap goes to local charities. This is James again. Make sure you get your perfume soap. One thing, Johnny's. Thank you. Soap for sale over here. All handmade. All handmade. Perfume. Mm-hmm. All different colors. Have some even pumpkins. Three dollars a bar. If you buy five bars, you get it for two dollars a bar. So for sale, honey, while it lasts, and getting it picked over. And it's all homemade. Good stuff and fragrance. And we and we take the money and we feed the homeless. You can buy a pumpkin. Sure it we're now turning our back to you so you can see the signs where we go up and down and advertise. Yes, many customers we hope. So we can help other people. This shows that just because we're in wheelchairs, we can still help our community. I think we were talking about um, selling it at the farmer's market and well how that makes me feel is is really good. One, it gets me out of here and out into the open and mm -hmm. into the community and letting them know what we're doing and how we are doing it and what we're doing with the money that, that we're making. We're not making the money just for us to have fun with. We do it to provide services for other people. And it gives you a really good feeling to do that. And it's just a great thing to do. It's wonderful. Okay. Excuse me. Would you guys like to help the community? How can we help the community? You can help the community by looking at our soap. We make soap at Mission View Health Facility. Uh, the residents there make all the soap, and then we uh, buy food for the homeless people and stuff. Plus, plus we have free cookies over there too. Take a look. Not all of them, but the three of them in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This one it looks like you need a cookie. Lavender. Yeah. 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 Never lavender. turned down a cookie. <laughs> and this is lavender. It's different colors. I mean. oh, I see. Come on, have a cookie. <laughs> this is vanilla. This is, this I can't vanilla. lift it too what? far. Oh, <laughs> we just made these this morning. How about a cookie? Hi, I'm Matthew from Mission View Health Center, and you ladies were just here at the booth buying some handmade soap from the residents. And you are? I'm Suzanne Knuckles, Layla Olive. Hi, so thank you so much for coming to the booth, and did the ladies tell you a little bit about what they're doing? Yes, they did, and you did also, and we just think it's a wonderful thing. And plus, we just received uh, home baked cookies also. I still haven't so. eaten mine. Yeah, delicious, delicious. That's how they lure you in <laughs> yeah. with the cookies. That they well, it just worked. Baked. Okay, it worked. Good. Good. I think good. it's great what they're doing, though, because I've worked in nursing homes before, and I think it's awesome that they not only are helping the community, but have kind of a purpose you know, to their lives in the nursing home. So it's, I think it's a really cool. Well, thank you. So they're very excited about what they're doing, and I think they really are making a difference, and I think you know, everyone across the nation can oh. do something similar. So, yeah. so we're I real excited so. about it. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for soaping our cookies. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Bye -bye. Have a good okay. night. Yay! Yay. Yay. Bye-bye. My name is Jay.
James Chipman. I'm a resident at Mission View Health Center here, and we are in uh, Dining Room One to show uh, one of the uh, activities that uh, the residents here do to help feed the uh, uh, homeless. Now, today we're doing the making of soap. Individually, you can't do that sort of thing. And that's why the Mission View has taught me a lot to give out, to help. I think that's the main thing that I've learned in Mission View. It's not making soap or anything, it's helping the community more than anything else. be out to help market this up. You probably had some experience or something like that. Well, I've been a salesman most of my life, so. Okay. I have not been a salesman most of my life. It's, it's difficult for me to, to get uh, in front of people and ask them to do things. It is a little difficult, but you get over it. Well, so, uh, do you have to go out and uh, make arrangements for, for sales in the market? Or? No, because of the fact that I don't have any legs to matriculate with, I, I uh, have to do it over the telephone. Oh, okay. So right now we're contacting Elks Clubs and uh, some of the other clubs in town, plus the purveyors here in town that service, and we're trying to squeeze each one of them for a little bit of uh, money to support our host. Money or time, probably. Yeah. It's not only money that you have to Well, we've pay. been fairly lucky so far, So and, and people are pretty nice. Uh, you know, how could you beat uh, helplessness and hopelessness and uh, handicap? Uh, do, uh, trying to help it. I mean, really, that's we got handicapped people feeding the homeless people. Come on. Oh, that's true. That's good. How 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 much how much better can you be? And at, at no cost. Everybody volunteers, so uh, all the money goes to. You're making it sound better and better all the time. Well, that's that's what it's all about. But uh, I never saw an organization like this where none of the money went for administration. Everything goes right back into food, and the food goes to the shelters, and uh, we feed them. Our people feed them, and uh, not only make the food, they feed them. So how often do you go down to the, to the shelter? Well, they've been going once a month, and sometimes twice a month. And, uh, last month we fed uh, right at around 200 uh, people in the shelter. And uh, I know I dished it out, and it was really heartening to me to, to see uh, how happy those people were. Well, yeah, you look around, and there's, there's, there's people that are more handicapped than I am, and I'm pretty bad shape. And, uh, and, they're, and they're helping just like uh, regular workers. You're paying them by the hour, you couldn't get any more out of them. Oh, my pleasure. Hello, I'm Rick Martell. And uh, I learned a lot by watching that d uh, DVD of the people at the uh, uh, Mission View Health Center. And I'm very pleased today to have the administrator who's been with him for three years now. Matthew Lisabay is here. And uh, you've been 
working there for three years, and you've been in this business for a, a number of years, have you not? Yeah, almost uh, 15 years I've been with Compass Health here yeah. in our community for a little over eight years. Well, the one thing that's really good about this is watching the people. They, they make the glycerin soap, and they sell it at the farmer's market, and they also helping hands is what it is, uh, is called. Now, what are they doing with uh, the profits from the soap? Uh, they're actually taking all of the money that they make and actually feeding the homeless in our community. What's, what what uh, homeless shelter is uh, it? Maxine Lewis Memorial Shelter. Yeah, San Luis Obispo. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's people here, the salesman, I guess he was uh, wheelchair bound. Ken Conway. Yeah, yeah. Ken Conway, very articulate yeah. and a great smile. Yeah. And I, I love seeing that because uh, Several years ago, I used to go to the, the care centers and sing and tell corny jokes and all that until they kicked me out. And uh, but I really enjoyed that for the longest time. Um, what about uh, your philosophy of getting the words out and and getting the people involved? You don't want them sitting around doing nothing. You want them to create things and have some self-worth. Am I right there? Exactly. And uh, we kind of titled this uh, A Meaningful Life, A Service-Based Approach. Mm. And we, we really started exploring maybe two years ago at Mission View. We feel like we're giving good clinical care to people. Yes. We have people who want to be there, compassionate people. So why aren't our residents happy? And so we got together as a group and started brainstorming what's going on. Why aren't people happy? Why do people have these impressions of nursing homes? Why don't people want to be in a nursing home? And uh, one of the aides said, well, for me, it would stink if all I had to do all day was thank everybody. Yeah. Say thank you for uh, helping me get dressed. Thank you for helping to feed me. Thank you to the nurse for giving me my pain meds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It occurred to us that really when you are in a nursing home, you're just a care receiver. You're yeah. receiving care, and is that really a life worth living? So we started looking at, well, what is our model of care? And really, we borrowed it from the acute hospitals, which is clinical excellence and compassionate care, yeah. which makes sense. You need both. Um, and that works in a hospital setting where you're going home. Yeah. But unfortunately, that relegates you to, like I said, being a care receiver. And in our, most of the people in our facilities uh, live there. Yeah, they're not going home. Right. That is their home. So can, is there something that they can do? Is there a reason for them to get out of bed? And that's what started this whole nonprofit. They actually run their own nonprofit yeah, business so. out of Mission View Health Center, now the residents. Yeah, but they're all like, let's just show the face. <laughs> 